help us understand some of the confusion I could say is coming out of all of this. I mean, you've just heard from the Egyptian foreign minister there, um, certainly saying Israel is violating international laws, but at the same time, there seems to be a reluctancy to open that humanitarian corridor. So how do you see things playing out here? I think it's really important to recognize the urgency of the situation on the ground. Uh, Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, the 2.3 million people who are living there, um, have been not only trapped uh, in that space since 2007 uh, during the period of the siege, um, but uh, also at this juncture have been without electricity, um, with diminishing quantities of water, diminishing quantities of food, and orders to leave their homes. Uh, there is mass panic, there is mass trauma, um, and extraordinary vulnerability in this moment. And so I say this uh, to, to stress that it's not enough for us to offer platitudes about the challenges that are presented. I think that it's uh, crucial that the international community demand action to ease uh, the circumstances on the ground of, of this population and to call for an end to the military operations that are having such terrible consequences for civilian life in the Gaza Strip. I guess part of that is the goal of President Biden, and of course, as he heads over to the region. But how is this incident with the hospital, but also the humanitarian crisis, as you have so rightly pointed out, that is unfolding right now, complicate the situation as far as these diplomatic efforts are concerned? I, th I think that uh, President Biden, unfortunately, is uh, confronting uh, the consequences of United States indifference toward the situation in Israel-Palestine over the last few years. The Biden administration made the decision uh, to de-emphasize uh, this particular file in favor of focusing on other agendas, figuring that it wouldn't flare. I think at this juncture, um, what they're discovering is that this file can't be ignored. Now, in terms of how to address it, you're right, there are complications uh, present. But in, in the same way that the United States has pressed emphatically um, uh, for uh, ensuring in contexts like Ukraine uh, that there be um, Absolutely, absolute clarity in our commitment to avoid civilian deaths and casualties, whether Palestinian or Israeli. Um, I think that that's exactly what that's exactly what we need to see in this context: a clear commitment to um, uh, de-escalating the situation, rather than a green light to Israel to continue down a path that not only is unlikely to succeed with respect to its apparent stating goals, uh, stated goals, dismantling um, uh, the Hamas government. Um, but that is also likely to plunge um, Israel-Palestine and perhaps the region into uh, deeper conflict.